Hi guys, my name is MJ. Welcome to the Tutorials channel. Okay, um, <clears throat> new drop from Mimi GT. Uh, total seven new arrivals. Um, six regular boxes and one uh, Miho exclusive. Okay, uh, two new castings. Um, what else? One exclusive Hong Kong exclu uh, event exclusive model. Mm, and the rest will be a re uh, new variant. Cool, <laughs> quite crazy. Uh, so, I guess the one that people really, really, really like in this batch of release would be this guy. Um, this is actually also my favorite, um, the McLaren F1 GTR number fifty nine, nineteen ninety five Le Mans uh, twenty four hours winner. So uh, I've just read up a little bit, and I understand that this is actually the first time uh, McLaren <coughs> decided to <coughs> actually enter. Uh, to, to put his car their cars into Le Mans racing and um, actually I think this this the result also kind of kind of surprised them that uh, they did so well and uh, yeah okay so th there are actually a couple of cars that that were uh, raced in the same race in the 1995 uh, race so I do hope that mini GT will actually make them however um, yeah based on pre-orders uh, based on pre-order photos so far no other variants up till now so this is the only McLaren F1 GTR that is available for Mini GT okay look at that oh for its price this is really beautiful okay BMW powered V12 powered okay BMW V12 powered that's a BMW engine in there okay look at the tail lights Separate piece, very very nicely done. The McLaren logo, uh, I think that's a GTR logo, right? Okay, very nice, very 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 nice casting. Actually, really very nice casting. I I actually do collect this casting from Hot Wheels, and um, yeah, this is this is definitely going to my permanent collection. Okay, Michelin degree uh degree seven the gray seven, Kenwood McLaren logo. Everything is. Uh, printed very nicely even the tire branding is printed very nicely as well Michelin uh, was this pilot something right yeah okay mi printed very nicely as well so when it rolls very nice rims I think uh, does does really show uh, how to say I think it, it's really clo close to the real thing and um, I think that's that's kind of the beauty of it where the insides is dark enough that yeah I'm okay without the disc brake and it still looks very nice from side view very very nice look at the Michelin Man logo down there okay from the front the headlamps are done very nicely uh, the indicator lights left and right printed I'm fine with that <clears throat> the grill has its uh, has its texture Okay, not bad. So it has that Le Mans spotlight detail in the middle here as well. That's nice. You can see it's, uh, yep, the driving seat is in the middle. Okay, side mirrors as usual for Mini GT. R uh, soft, rubbery, silicone kind of material. Okay, detail on top, McLaren GTR. Nice. Very, very nice. I like this very much. So, right wheel hub. Uh, lug nuts on the left and blue on the right nice <clears throat> okay I do have a couple of extras of these they're available through collector's cube uh, so do look them up oh no I don't have it here with me <gasps> yeah forgot to put it here okay uh, do look them up okay I'm gonna put a link in the description below they do ship worldwide as well they're on TikTok Facebook Instagram uh, and they have their own website oh no I don't have video this time okay and in the meantime help me to hit the like button take us that will help me out with the YouTube algorithms okay so that's number five mini GT number five three four here uh, next I want to talk about the Lamborghini Countach LPI 800-4 in Bianco Siderale is, 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 is it how it's pronounced or oh, side rail <laughs> okay number five six four licensed by Lamborghini oh hang on Hang on, hang on. So it's licensed by McLaren. Anything else? No, nothing else. <coughs> nothing else. 
licensed by McLaren. Okay, so that's a Kuntash. Another new casting in this batch. Very, very nice. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. So the only other casting that I went through my hands before would be from Hot Wheels. And uh, this is definitely not Hot Wheels. Of course, we need to give a fair comparison, right? So Hot Wheels is uh, uh, f half, not really half. <coughs> it's about a third of the price. Yep. Okay. So you just need to top up another quarter of the price and you get a Mini GT. And this is what you get. Look at that, man. This is beautiful. Check out those rims. Look at that. Yeah, I have to. I have to do that house lizard noise. It just looks so good. Carbon fiber effect on the intake here. Okay. To fit air into the engine. Um, at the back. Okay. I guess this is the uh, petrol filler cap. Very nice. Very, very nice modern tech on a very, very poster Countach. Look at that. Look at the front. Look at the headlamps. Done very nicely. And the Lamborghini logo done nicely as well. Nice. So the interior is same as the the McLaren, right? It's in black. So actually you can't tell much, but it's, it's nice that they have the this texture here. Okay, you can see a little bit of an engine detail at the back there. <coughs> but it's quite minimal. Okay, there's something down here. It's so small that, yeah, I can't see what it is. But uh, yeah, I can't get enough of the rims. Man, very, very nice. Very, very nice. Now we go to the back. Ooh, look at that. Very nicely done. Lamborghini logo in the middle. Very nicely done by Mini GT. Nice. Very, very nice overall casting. Damn, bro. Nice. Okay, so that's a Countach. And then, um, perhaps since we're talking about a Lamborghini, right, I want to show you guys this one. The Mini GT Lamborghini Sian FKP37 Matte Viola SE30. So I've done a bit another video of it on um, on the Lamborghini Sian, the, the previous one, right? I've did a comparison with the uh, other brands as well. <coughs> so this is actually the first casting from Mini GT number five two nine, and uh, quite quickly, um, they are already out with the second color, matte viola SE thirty. Okay, at the back, this is actually a Hong Kong exclusive release. Nice. Nice, nice. So, so far, very, very nice color. So, the green. It's not green, actually. What's it called? Presentation. I, I don't know what's the name of this color. I forgot. Okay, I forgot. Okay, and parked next to the viol viola. Matte viola. Look at that. Look at that with the metal flex effect. Look at that. This is another very nice casting. Of course, the carbon fiber shouldn't be this big, right? But uh, I can accept. <coughs> okay, it's supposed to be much more finer in 64 scale. Basically, you shouldn't be able to, to, to see the texture. But uh, yeah, it's in 64 scale. It's fine. Look at that. Look at that. Damn. So the only downside on, on this casting, right, is the rims. I guess this this is the closest it can get. Okay, so yeah, a little bit of a letdown on the rims, but uh, again, to me, good enough. Cause look at look at the Gundash. Look at that. Look at that. Come on, comparing that and this. Right, right. But this guy, it's the color. That purple. That satin purple this is actually very very nice. Okay, with the uh, flags, the color of the Italian flag. Nice, very nice. Okay, <clears throat> that's the second Lambo. <coughs> Next, um, my other favorite casting from Mini GT would be this guy. Okay, hang on. Oh, I need to show you the box first, right? So this would be number five five three. The BMW M4 GD3 number 31, Schubert Monosport 2022 DTM Champion. Okay. Here we go, the BMW license at the back. Alright. Oh. 
very nice. This is actually a very nice casting. Oh, and <clears throat> just as this, this is here in my hands, right? Actually, just last week, um, the PO just closed for the 118 of this. And uh, the parent company of Mini GT, TSM, is actually making it <coughs> under the brand Top Speed. And um, from, yeah, I just saw one photo. I believe this is the this is the one in 118. And um, do you order that? <laughs> Any 118 players here? I was very, very tempted to order, but uh, yeah, I thought ugh, I'm gonna skip it. I'm just gonna focus on a little bit. I'm a little bit more selective with my 118s. Okay, but uh, this in 118 will be very nice. Probably if I do get one of these in 118, I'll probably go for a presentation version. Nice. Very nice shell logo branding all over as well. Shell Helix. Shell Helix on the side as well. M Sport. Okay, what is that? Um, Yep, that's the team's name. Very, very, very nice casting. Okay, no shortcuts, not a sticker. Proper molding done. Nice. Windscreen wiper in the middle. Um, it's a single piece with a wind, uh, with a windscreen. Okay, very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, so that's the BMW. Okay, we're done with the racing ones already. Um, then I will show you the Bugatti. Okay. Chiron Pro Sport. Hang on, this guy right, the BMW. Uh, I forgot to check. I think this is the fifth or sixth variant already. Okay, it's already the fifth or sixth variant. And um, how many? Yeah, there's a Super GT variant, um, presentation version, and then the what else? Um, the sing the the ST Racing, and then there is the uh, I think in the normal Asia box, I think at least they are already. Four, okay, and so happened. Ooh, since I have it here, right? Might as well park it out here as well. Look at that. Come on, what's it? What's not to like about this casting? Very nice. Okay, very very nice. Very exotic. This uh, this round of uh, arrivals. Bugatti Chiron Super Sport White. Okay. Um, this I think <coughs> maybe is this the third or the fourth uh, variant. I know that I think there's a um, baby blue with a numbering. That's one, and then I think there's a yellow color one already. Okay, here we go. Number five, six, nine from Mini GT. Very nice carbon fiber effect here. So this now this carbon fiber effect does look better than the Sian. The carbon fiber effect on the Sian is really very big. Okay, look at that for comparison. Okay, now you know what I mean, right? So. Yeah, the common fiber on this Bugatti does look much better. Look at that. Common fiber diffuser even. Nice. Nice. The W16 engine at the back. Oh. Mini GT really hitting the right spots at the right prices. Headlamps detail, very nice. Number 16, Bugatti logo in the middle. That's very nice as well. Cool. Okay, so that's the Bugatti. I'm done with the BMW. All right, next would be the um, Range Rover. So the first casting was delayed, and uh, once it's out, yep, they all keep coming out. <coughs> okay, this would be the Range Rover 1971 British Trans America Expedition. <coughs> Excuse me, number 542. Land Rover logo. Okay. So this one comes together with the accessories. And uh, it's fixed. Okay, you can't really, you can't remove it. Yeah, it's fixed. Okay, two set of uh, <coughs> spare wheels on top. <coughs> the ladder, no, no, this is not a ladder. This is actually a ramp. Okay, spare ramps, uh, for you. And um, what is this? Let me know what is this. Okay, I, I don't know what part. Oh, okay, this is actually the exhaust. <coughs> part of the exhaust, Exo exhaust extender. I guess if you go under water, okay, if you need to go um, snorkeling, okay, yeah, it's the, this is not really the snorkel, the snorkel usually comes from the engine in front to allow air to go into the engine, okay, if it's submerged, and this one is actually for the exhaust, <coughs> so the exhaust um, fumes can come out through the top, water does not enter from the bottom, okay, very nice, very Actually, I'm quite impressed with the speed. <clears throat> Once the base model is out, they managed to get all these um, 
accessories variant already okay rims are basically the same <coughs> yeah generally speaking the body is basically the same it has a tow hook <coughs> excuse me what else uh, oh and all the license and all these decals okay I do wonder if they are still around that uh, Mini GT able to get the permission to put their logos on this thing or just a blanket approval from the from the Range Rover owner nice VXC oh this is actually stated on the is this stated on the box yeah it is <clears throat> ah okay so that's the license plate VXC868 <coughs> I was wondering if it was some sort of code but it's actually a license plate so is it mm, correct me if I'm wrong is that is that why it, um, is that to show you know that they have the the license to build just this specific registered um, Range Rover hmm hmm Otherwise, there are there are quite a lot of brands in here to to get approval one by one so possibly it's approval from the owner uh, blanket approval to just make a replica of the of his uh, Range Rover right <coughs> okay so I covered everything right not yet not yet so Miho exclusive this is actually new from um, US number 575 uh, I've already covered this in my previous video uh, Shelby GT500 Dragon Snake concept in black so there is a chase version to this for the Mio exclusive that's limited to 5400 pieces only okay there's a chase version but I don't have it and um, yeah I already got it out of the box so the one of the most interesting part about this Dragon Snake variant would be decal <coughs> okay that's the uh, Dragon Snake logo here Right, I'm looking forward to see the uh, blue color Ford, Ford Performance blue variant as well. Really like how this black look shiny, very shiny. Okay, cool. All right, so which which would be your favorite uh, release from this batch? How do you rank them? I would rank McLaren F1 number one, Countach number two, <coughs> and the BMW M4. Nice, very nice. Cool. So uh, that's it for this time around. Uh, remember to help me to hit the, the, the like button, okay? Because that will help, help me out with the YouTube algorithms. Uh, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so that I don't miss on any of my other Nikas videos. I do have a couple of extras of these. They are available through Collectors Q <coughs> uh, website, coq.com. Link in the description below. I strongly encourage you guys to go for pre order for mini GT stuff um, because when it's out, <coughs> um, <coughs> yeah, <coughs> they will be limited and the prices uh, may not remain the same okay so uh, I did I, I will put the link to my pre-order group in the, in the description below as well cool so that's it for this time around thank you so much for watching guys take care bye